Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss Pre Market Report for Wednesday, November 29th, 2017. I'm Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. In the previous session, we saw quite the rally here, a big time move higher. I believe that day from top to bottom was nearly 30 points, about 29 and a half points, which is quite a big difference compared to what we've seen in the past year. Uh, we, we basically went 180, 200% of ADR in the previous session, an elongated uh, trend type day, no, no counter rotations hardly at all, a big pullback to VWAP and then a strong finish. So very strong indeed. What we were looking for to begin the day was any failure to hold below the previous low could launch this thing and uh, didn't quite get that low and, and, uh, and rallied anyway. So very strong market again. Uh, this market continues to push higher. We've been trying to look to see how much higher we could go based off of uh, the current uh, options expirations low. We're already in the, the quality target zone between 26.20 and 26.40. We could see a little bit more upside from there still. Any pullback into 2600 uh, could still provide a, a phenomenal buy opportunity for another round of strength. So still pullbacks to be defended by bulls. If you take a look here at the NQ, uh, similar structure, but not the similar outcome in the previous session. Uh, very bullish trending structure overall, but this market stayed within the range, stayed within its range throughout the session, and even later on in the day took out the low and rallied back toward highs. And that was again what we were looking for yesterday. If we come out here, drop down and take out the low and fail to push lower, that could be the buy back up. And so right now, very tightly cooled price action within the last four days or so with an upward bias. Again, if price were to drop even as low as 6,300, it could still be a great buying opportunity for another round of strength. I don't, I'm not sure we get that low, but we could easily get down to 6,350 and fail and see another round of strength. So again, this thing is pointing up, pullbacks to be defended. Here's a look at crude oil. Crude oil also had a very tight day the previous session, a digestion day, a pullback from highs after the recent rally from 55 to 59. Uh, what I mentioned to our group is that any pullback here could great, be a great buying opportunity again for another round of strength into 60 evens. And so right now, uh, 57 is going to be a key level. Previous sessions low, again, if we come down here and start to fail below 57, that could be a buy to 60. So again, right now, a narrow range, building up energy, and uh, any, any break to the downside could be a false move that leads to a resolution to the upside. Lastly, let's take a look at gold futures. Gold has been quietly trading again uh, on a swing basis, quietly pushing higher here, uh, sitting right around 1300 and that's what we talked about before. If there's any failure at 1300 we could be making a move right back toward 1280 half, which is composite value. We've been trending up with new highs day over day, new higher lows uh, as well, uh, quietly rounding off to the bottom, but we're not really running off to the upside. And as I mentioned before, every time we take out a new high, we usually come back to composite value. So again, keep an eye on 12.95 for signs that we might rotate back toward 12.80 half. All right, that's it for now. Let's see how this plays out heading into the rest of the session. Good luck and trade well.